Here is uh, Bernie Sanders from October 12th, 2011, uh, opposing the Panama United States promotion uh, trade promotion agreement on the Senate floor. Uh, this you may find this interesting. And lastly, let me just say a brief word about uh, Panama and the Panama Free Trade Agreement. Panama's entire annual economic output is only 26.7 billion a year, or about two tenths of 1% of the U.S. economy. No one can legitimately make the claim that approving this free trade agreement will significantly increase American jobs. Then why would we be considering a standalone free trade agreement with Panama, tiny little country? Well, it turns out that Panama is a world leader when it comes to allowing wealthy Americans and large corporations to evade U.S. taxes by stashing their cash in offshore tax haven. And the Panama Free Trade Agreement will make this bad situation much worse. Each and every year, the wealthiest people in our country and the largest corporations evade about $100 billion in U.S. taxes through abusive and illegal offshore tax havens in Panama and in other countries. According to Citizens for Tax Justice, and I quote, a tax haven has one of three characteristics. It has no income tax or a very low, income, low rate income tax. It has bank secrecy laws. And it has a history of non-cooperation with other countries on exchanging information about tax matters. Panama has all three of those. They are probably the worst. And that's from, end of quote, from the Citizens for Tax Justice. If only someone could get a treasure trove of documents that would prove this and outline it. Should also add uh, on that uh, accord, the um, I think Iceland's going to have a uh, a new uh, prime minister soon. I we can't play the sound unfortunately because it just doesn't really work because it's all it's translated, so you have to do a play by play basically. But if uh, I would look up the Icelandic prime minister who's getting confronted, I think it was actually by a Swedish journalist. And just to, I've never seen somebody look so guilty in my life. Like, he looks guilty across the spectrum. Like, he knows what he did was wrong. Who is the Icelandic prime minister? Dinesh D'Souza is on the, uh, on the case, I'm sure. That's one of the things that Dinesh D'Souza picked up in prison. You go check out this Icelandic. Uh, you want to talk about crime? But he literally was like break. Like I, I, I watched a couple episodes of of uh, Daredevil a couple, weeks, and he looks like some guy who's not like a main character in the story, but some like bad banker that's getting confronted by Daredevil, and he's just like, oh, I, 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 I would never do anything like that. <laughs> this is absurd. Oh, he resigned an hour ago. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna have a new one. Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. Yeah. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.